Hello and welcome to our final weekly mailing of this half term. It's been a packed half term. We finished with a busy week, as you know, with our inspectors coming to visit us from the Independent Schools Inspectorate. It was a really fair process. I felt that they really understood us as a school, who we are and what we achieve and the areas that we need to focus on. A real emphasis on pupil voice, on listening to what your sons and daughters are saying, uh, where they feel our strengths are and where they feel that we need to improve. And that's going to be evident in the report that will be out in about four weeks' time. Thank you to so many of you for completing your surveys. That was part of a conversation I had uh, with the lead inspector to understand how you're seeing things. And that's going to, again, be focused on our report. The last seven days have been absolutely packed, however. In, alongside the inspection, things haven't stopped. We haven't just been doing an inspection. Alongside all the normal lessons and everything else, Mr. Donaldson has now met with all of the fifth form who have been in school, those who are well, uh, to talk about their GCC trials and their plans for sixth form, the subjects they want to be studying, and all those kind of things. And then Mr. Hole has also been meeting with about 25 or so of the upper sixth, who we feel just need to step up a little bit further in order to secure the results that they are capable of. And we'll be putting in targeted support for all of those groups, uh, aimed at really recognising where they are now, where they could be by the end of term, by the start of next term, and then at the beginning of the exam season. Small chunks as we seek to see progress. We've also been finishing our UCAS process with the uh, deadline for those university applications coming last week. And it's been great to just reflect on where people are going, the course they're applying to, from the most competitive courses that you'll have seen mentioned in the mailing last week, to also courses across the country, indeed internationally, for those thinking about degree apprenticeships, the whole spectrum is there, and indeed those thinking about work and gap years. Uh, and my very best wishes to the upper sixth as they do their final preparations as they move into their last half of the school year. In the co-curricular sphere, it's been absolutely packed. So we had a big concert this time last week on Friday uh, in Cirencester. It's our main uh, school concert, brilliantly supported and attended by parents and friends of the school, and at the highest level of music at that, from choral, big choral works, the choral society, to the orchestra, symphonia, uh, string quartets, uh, and the horn quintet too. So thank you very much to everybody who was involved in that. On the sport front, it's been non-stop from regional netball finals to under, seven, uh, under 14 sevens and under 15 rugby 15s, plays, both playing in their tournaments against great schools in the area. And then the boys and the girls hockey team have been very busy in their tier one national competitions. And many congratulations to the girls as they conclude their busy season uh, with a really strong finish this week. In, the, in our wider side of sense, we've had our disguised Decanian competition. Uh, it's competitive in its lightest sense. It's a really fun event and it's aiming to raise money for two great charities, Nyakutiku Memorial School uh, and First Sight in, out in Congo, uh, who provide support and targeted support for those who are unable to see it. And I'm really grateful to Genevieve and to Jess for the brilliant work that they did in pulling that whole thing together with the Bacon team uh, and achieving such a wonderful, entertaining evening, uh, but also one that raised so much money. And then finally, before we uh, break for half term, we have a school trip taking place at the moment, and they're out in Rome. And I received an email yesterday, and if you don't mind, I'll just read it to you. And my heart generally sinks when I receive messages like this. To whom it may concern, I just need to contact you as I was staying in Rome in the hotel your students arrived at on the 8th of February. I've been here for a week, and in a previous life, I was involved in education. Your students were amazing, polite, and a credit to your school. The staff attached to them were amazing. I have so much respect and don't normally email, but credit where credit is due. And as that's the line, inspections are really about giving credit where credit is due. It's lovely to see messages from people not connected to the school, recognising just the quality of the young people we have here and the staff who work with them. I hope you all have a wonderful half term, that it's a chance for rest and recovery before we go again for five more weeks before Easter. Have a great break.